Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel and another day of the Glow Up Plan. As you can see by the title, today we are doing a mobility and flexibility routine. It's going to be really relaxing and lovely. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, you will need some space for today. We're going to be really focusing on the hips, specifically the inner thighs after yesterday's workout. So making sure that they're nice and open and we have full range of motion. And for that, what I recommend that you grab um, is a long resistance band if you've got one. This is not essential by the way, so don't worry if you don't have one, just carry on, that's fine. But if you do have one, a nice long stretchy resistance band will help. Um, I'm going to be using a cushion for comfort because I'm just feeling really sensitive. <laughs> Feeling really physically sensitive today um, and the floor is pretty hard here so I'm just going to use a cushion to make it a little bit more comfortable as this mat is great for grip but a bit thin um, and then the other thing that I recommend you try and do is be near a wall so a nice open wall that you can put your feet up against um, with enough space okay and um, so yeah take a second to get those things but otherwise we're just going to get straight into it and we're going to start off by doing some nice Deep breaths with a head and neck roll. So looking to the left side. Oh, that's my right side. <laughs> looking to a side. Take a deep breath as we relax into today's practice. Breathing in through the nose. And you can breathe out through the mouth or the nose. But I want the exhale to be really long and deep, longer than your inhale. So maybe you do four counts as an inhale, five or six counts for an exhale. And over the other shoulder. So I'm looking over my left shoulder now intentionally. The shoulders are low and down. Deep breath, feeling the shoulders Push down as you exhale, nice long neck. And really take a moment to be conscious of your body in this moment. So how are you feeling? Feel the ground beneath your toes. Where is feeling tight? And just intentionally relax the body and the mind. Because that will help, that will help with our stretching. And chin to chest. Nice deep breath as we feel the stretch in the back of the neck. Just say a big thank you to yourself for showing up today for yourself, for your body. Because this is really good for you. Being a person of integrity who does what they say they're going to do by showing up for another day of the glow up plan, you've just proved that that's who you are and that's awesome. Then we'll lift the head, chin towards the ceiling, nice long shoulders still, we're not hunched, we're relaxed. Keeping good posture, core is engaged. Deep breaths. Okay, then what I'm going to do is place one hand on the wall and my palm is flat against the wall. My fingertips are facing behind me. So I've got my left hand on the wall, fingertips facing behind me. I'm going to just turn away. Oh, that's good. That is a really good upper body stretch. Turn away from the wall. So I've got a nice stretch through the arm and the shoulder, trying to keep that palm flat against the wall. So I take a deep breath, feeling the stretch in the pecs and the upper body. I love, love, love this stretch. Nice deep breath. And feel free to move around with it if you're moving in and out of this area. That is totally cool. And we'll switch to the other side. So now my right hand is flat against the wall, fingertips reaching behind, and I turn away. Ha! Oh. That is deep and intense and wonderful. Turn away from the wall, feeling that stretch. So I press the palm into the wall. You can rotate the shoulder a little bit, but nice and gentle, okay? I don't want you to overdo it. Just work within your range of motion, nice and gently. Feeling that stretch down through the pecs as well. Nice 
Then I'm going to place both hands against the wall and I'm going to straighten my legs and press the chest towards the floor as I keep those palms flat against the surface of the wall. Feeling that stretch in the front of the body and the shoulders. So this is a really good stretch for um, forearm stand and handstand practice as well. Taking a nice deep breath. So really pressing in, pressing the chest towards that wall. Imagining your body in a straight line, tension from the palms to the hips. And release, well done. Then what we're gonna do is come down onto the mat. I want you to lace your fingertips like so. And I just love this stretch. Place your hands behind your head. Oh, I'm excited for it. So I'm holding my head as you can see like so. And I'm gonna put my feet up. So my, I'm on my tiptoes and I put my heels down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the chest and lengthen the neck. So I'm opening the elbows as wide as I can. Chest is open towards the sky. And just take some deep breaths. And I love this pose because it's kind of the opposite of what you do when you're sat on your phone hunching, scrolling through TikTok. I can't be the only one who's been doing that recently. Because instead of being like this, you're opening up the chest. Really feel that stretch. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Neck nice and long. Take a deep breath. You might feel a bit of a stretch in your ankles as well. That's good, that's nice. Feel free to move around with it. You can come down onto your feet flat like so if you'd like. Try and stretch out those heels too. Well done, then we're gonna reverse and hunch over. <laughs> but a nice exaggerated stretch here, so I'm curving the spine. Pulling the chin to the chest, feeling that stretch in the back of the neck. And the upper back as I pinch my elbows together in line with the head. Then reverse as we exhale, opening up the chest here. My favorite pose, it's like it's a sunny day and you're just basking in it and you're basking in the beautiful rays. Deep breath. Wonderful. And then what we're going to do is take it to the side. So drop that head over to the side, not falling forward, not falling back, keeping those elbows open, as open as you can, reaching the right elbow down towards the floor, feeling the stretch in the side of the body. And then we come up, back towards the center, do the same thing on the other side. Exhale, as we round over to the side, feeling that beautiful stretch as the right elbow points towards the ceiling this time and the left elbow towards the floor. And then come up, back towards center, well done, and release, and you can relax the feet now, really wiggle those toes that have been in that tense position for a little while. It's very warm in here, by the way. <laughs> it's currently a heat wave in the UK, and it is glorious, but I'm sweating. Um, what we're gonna do now is stretch out the forearms. So placing the hands in front of you, in front of the knees, fingertips pointing towards the knees, and we're just gonna rock back and forth trying to keep that palm as flat as we can on the ground. So feeling that stretch in the forearm, it's a good one. So just rocking back and forth as you feel. As you come back, you'll feel that stretch intensify. And if you want it even more intense, you can just do one arm at a time to really lean into that, then you can rotate it as well to focus on where you feel. This feeling tight, I always say, listen to your body because your body be speaking. <laughs> and sometimes, even though we've done the same workout, it might have, we might feel it in different ways, you know. The next day you might have a bit more soreness in one particular area, and that's okay. It's got to tailor it to where you're at. Amazing, and then what we're gonna do is reach the fingertips out in front, feet together, so my feet are, my knees are apart, and my feet are pointing towards each other. And we're gonna stretch 
out the hips by rocking forward, bringing the hips towards the mat, then back hips towards the feet, feeling that stretch in the inner thigh. So up, forward, lower the body down, and reverse. The wider that your knees are apart, you can adjust it, like I am here, the more that you will feel this. So really pressing the hips back towards the feet, feeling that stretch in the inner thighs and the hips. Reverse, come up. This might be a moment where you want the cushion beneath your knees just to be more comfortable. I'm gonna power through. <laughs> I'm just rocking back and forth, feeling that stretch in the inner thighs. Well done. And then we're gonna walk the hands back towards the body and we're gonna come up onto our feet. Nice straight leg. We're gonna go into a bit of a straddle stretch position. So I want you to walk the feet out wide apart as wide as you can, as wide as is comfortable. We are still supporting some of the weight of the body in the hands. And a nice deep breath. Now what I want you to do, something I very rarely ask you to do, is to arch the lower back. So just stick your bottom out really and feel that stretch intensify in the inner thighs. You can come down onto your forearms if you'd like. You can wiggle your feet, you can put your feet up or down. Move them around as you feel. Rocking back and forth. The further back I rock, the more that I feel that stretch in the inner thigh and in the hamstrings. Arching my back, so sticking out my bottom as much as I can. <laughs> well done. And we're going to walk the hands back up and walk the feet back up towards centre very slowly, keeping the legs nice and straight. Then a zigzag walk and I reach over the legs once my feet are together, feeling that stretch through the back of the legs. I'm trying to keep my palms as flat as I can towards the floor, but if you're up here, that's absolutely fine. If you need to bend your legs a bit, that is fine. Meet yourself where you are at. There is, this is not about over pushing it. Deep breath. Just reaching towards the toes. You can cycle the knees, so bending one knee at a time. We're not rushing here. We're taking our time. That's what I love about yoga and stretching is that it's just so beautiful. It's literally just about giving your body exactly what it needs. Just take a moment here. And slowly I want you to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Roll the shoulders back and well done. Great job. Now what we're going to do um, is do some stretching of the legs. Um, in a lot of our workouts we really do use a lot of the quads and the hamstrings so that's exactly what we're going to do now. So what I want you to do is to get a cushion, place it against the wall um, and we're going to, it's a little bit awkward to get into this position, but I want the knee in the corner of that wall. So right in the corners, as much as I can do. That knee is right in the corner and the foot is up against the wall. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze my core and I'm gonna press back towards the wall. I'm trying to get my shoulders against the wall, okay? So keeping in good, Good formation, keeping your balance. We need to try and get your shoulders against the wall. So holding your core tight, we're not going like this and arching the back, no. We're just moving back. Take a nice deep breath. And when you're doing this, you should really feel the stretch in the front of the quad. Now, having a cushion underneath the knee is um, quite a good recommendation because you might find it hard to not be on the tip of your kneecap. I don't want you on the tip of your kneecap. I want you, your knee is like pushed into the corner so that your the weight of your body is actually just in front of the knee, okay? So you're not getting that pressure. And it's also obviously 
going through the front leg as well. We've got the core squeezed. Then we go back towards the wall. Checking your alignment every so often. It can be tempting to swap to the side. I'm actually finding that my left glute <laughs> is getting in the way, but that's, that's the joys of booty gains. <laughs> Deep breath, keeping that core tight. Well done. And then what we're gonna do is release that a bit. And what we're gonna do is sticking that knee still in the corner, we're gonna try and push that hip down towards the mat. So want that hip to try and go down as close to the mat as we can, still keeping good posture. So the hip is going down, the hip is dropping down towards the mat, but my body is staying up. So really intensifying that stretch in the front of that left quad. I love stretching, so it's just a good balance of work for me. I'm like, oh, I'm feeling this, I'm tired, but it's also relaxing, weirdly, even though it's hard. So really pressing that hip straight down into the mat, intentional, feeling that stretch. Then we're gonna move it back again. So aligning the body, squeezing the core, squeezing the glutes. My leg is literally trembling a bit there, <laughs> trying to keep good alignment. And reverse again, pushing that hip straight down into the mat. Keeping that knee tucked in the corner of the wall. If you need to readjust, that's fine. It's not about perfection. And relax. Well done. Oh, that leg feels like it's just done about a million Bulgarian split squats, but that's, that's fine. We're gonna shake it off and reverse. So this time I'm tucking the right knee into the corner, in the cushion, very much supported here, okay? I'm very much supported. I don't want you getting knee pain or anything like that. So if you need to pause and get a cushion, that's fine. I'll be right here. <laughs> Benefits of YouTube. You can just press pause. So we're gonna come up into that position. Nice and tall, shoulders over hips, core engaged, moving the whole body back to meet the wall. It might be you're off the wall, I'm off the wall, on this leg especially. Oop. My cushion's moving a bit there as well, so I'm just gonna realign. But that's okay, as long as I'm feeling a stretch, it's not about reaching the extremes of the human body. Sometimes that is not even good for you, so. This is all about just increasing the range of mobility in the front of that leg that's tucked up against the wall. Trying not to overarch my back, but to keep it in line and just move the whole body back towards the wall. Then we'll reverse the position. So knees still tucked in, pushing the hip down towards the mat. Core is engaged, nice and tall, just pushing down. Oh, I feel that. Hands, do you feel it? I can totally feel that. When it feels intense, just take a deep breath. You've got this, you can do it. Really intentionally pushing that hip just down towards the mat. Staying nice and tall. And reverse again. So what I like about reversing is that you really do have to check to make sure you've realigned your body and you're in the right place. So shoulders over hips. Oh gosh, it's so warm in here. <laughs> So, so warm in here. Shoulders over hips and go back. Kind of like keeping my videos a bit messy. I like the ones where I talk as I do the workout because then you'll, it's a good example of how actually, do you know what, it is a bit of a mess and that's okay. As long as we're showing up and doing it, that is literally all that matters. You don't have to be 
doing this with supermodel perfection. You just got to be doing it. So just moving the upper body back towards the wall. Again, I'm a bit further from the wall on this side, and that's okay. I've always had a bit of an imbalance because my right leg was my lead leg for sprint hurdles. So that one was the one that always got stretched for the hamstrings and the calves, but not as much for the quads. And we'll reverse the position. So now hips forward, squeezing the glutes. I can actually feel this in my glutes so, so much, like trying to hold this position. Squeezing the glutes and pressing that hip down towards the mat. Deep breath. Chest up, core engaged. One last deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, well done. Oh, well done. Shake it off. Shake that off. And what we're going to do now, oh, throw the cushion out of the way. <laughs> and we're going to come down onto our back with our feet out in front. Oh, that feels like heaven, doesn't it? <laughs> Lying down after that. And we want our knees round about one, uh, just a bit wider than hip width apart. And we're just going to shift them from side to side. So knees go to one side and then the other. And we're just opening up the hips. So really getting that internal and external rotation. Side to side, breathing through, relaxing a bit here. You're doing so well. I really like today's routine actually. It's quite um, intense but active and intentional. And I like that and I hope that you do too. If you do, let me know in the comments because your feedback is really helpful to know what you want to see next and what you want to do next. I'm really just trying to push that knee down towards the ground on each side as you go. So active stretching here, keeping the shoulders and back against the mat and just moving the knees. Well done. Now what we're going to do is come onto our front. I'm going to move the mat a bit further out so that I've got enough space here. Move the microphone so I'm not screaming at you. Um, and we're going to lie on our front in a bit of a cross position. So arms out to the side. I want you to pick up the right leg and cast it over the left side towards the left hand as far as you can. Trying to keep the shoulders pressed against the mat. We're just opening up that hip. So keeping the chest on the ground on the mat, going from side to side, so we're really using the glutes here to lift up off the mat and reach that leg over to the other side, so alternating legs as we go, controlling the movement, I lifted my shoulder up quite a lot then, that's not good, <laughs> so trying to keep those shoulders as flat to the mat as we can. One more on each side. Well done. Hands in front and push the hips back. Deep breath and child's pose. Well done. Awesome. At this point in the routine, I'm going to invite you to grab your band if you've got one, okay? So I'm going to grab the band if you've got one and move the mat towards the wall if you are using a mat. <laughs> Because this is a really good, really chilled stretch that we're going to do. So I want you to lie on your back. And just shuffle until your hips are against the wall. So my hips are against the wall and my legs are in the air. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to pop that band under my hips evenly. I'm going to bring it up and wrap it around each foot like so. So I've got the band coming outside of the legs, inside of the upper foot. 
and making sure that I've shuffled my hips towards the wall. I'm gonna lift the legs up nice and straight. And I'm gonna open them out like so. So I'm opening out the legs towards the side. And we're just gonna chill here. I love this stretch because you literally just let gravity do all the work. Like why have we got to work for it when we can just relax? <laughs> so we're opening up the hips here and that band is just adding a little bit of pull to open them up. Really stretching the inner thighs, the adductors. And I just want you to take a nice deep breath and relax. We're gonna stay in this position for quite a while actually. So um, I want you to, um, yeah, just take some deep breaths and relax and feel the stretch and enjoy the moment of peace and rest. If you feel like your legs are getting a bit tight, that's fine. You can bend the knee a bit, wiggle them a bit before going back into the position. Take a deep breath in through the nose, two, three, four, out through the mouth, three, four, five. And what I want you to do is to very carefully come out of this position, okay? Take it slowly, because it might be that you feel a little bit stiff, <laughs> a little bit jelly even, um, and that's okay. So just take your time coming out of this position. So I'm very slowly bending my legs, moving the band with my hands so it doesn't flick me in the face. Oh my goodness, you guys should see the number of times I've flicked myself in the face with an exercise band when I'm doing something like this. <laughs> I should make like a compilation. I'm just gonna hug the knees into the chest for a bit. And depending on how intense you found that, it might be like, dude, I feel like my legs can't move. And so how I get out of this position is I just roll to the side and slowly come up, okay? Are you okay? Are you all still with me? Well done, excellent job. Okay, now to end this intense stretching session, uh, we're just gonna do some split stretching, okay? So the way we're gonna do that, just moving my mat out a bit again. So I'm gonna come into a lunge position. I'm gonna grab that cushion again because, again, I'm just feeling a little bit sensitive today. I'm gonna to put it on my back knee, which is my left knee at the moment. So lunge in position. And I'm gonna lunge straight forward, 
pushing that hip like we were before with the wall stretch towards the ground as much as I can. Deep breath. I'm going to move the hips back, reversing that stretch, pointing the toes up towards the ceiling, straight right leg, chest towards the knee and the calf, integrity of the spine, feeling that stretch throughout that calf and hamstring. And I'm going to do that again. So really taking an even deeper lunge, moving that back knee as far back as I can, keeping the chest up, squeezing the glute of that left leg, pressing that hip towards the mat. You can reach up towards the ceiling, Ooh, whatever you're feeling. Genuinely, if you feel me moving from one side to the other, it's just because I'm listening to my body, like I recommend that you guys do. I'm going to shift the hips back. Oh. Ooh, a little slide on the mat there. Pressing that chest towards the calf and hamstring again, toes towards the ceiling. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to place each hand flat against the mat on either side of the leg in front. I'm going to lift that back knee up off the mat. I'm just going to slowly ease each foot further out. So I'm going to remove the cushion at this point. Somewhere so you can still see me. I'm just going to get into that split position. So trying to keep in good integrity. So that left knee still facing the mat. Right leg out in front. I can even lift that foot up a bit to get it a bit further out. Exhale as I press the chest into that front leg. I can come up as well, just moving around in that position. It's quite a stiff split for me. If you're up here, that's fine. Just stay up there and hold it, using the um, strength in your arms to keep your body up. You can keep the cushion if you need to. But we're just going to try that split position. And this is my good side as well, but it's still a bit stiff. I rock from side to side, try and stay on top of it. It's not feeling the most comfortable, but that's okay. I've got my core engaged still, and I'm moving around through that position, and then we're going to come up and release. Oh, feeling like jelly. And then we'll do the other side. I always start on my good side, which is just not the smartest thing to do. Because then when I come onto my bad side, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. But I do do it because we are mentally stronger. So. This time, the right leg is behind. I've got the cushion back. And I'm going to come into that lunge position. Knee on the floor, glute engaged. Shift those hips forward. Squeezing the glutes, pressing the hip into the mat in front. Chest up, shoulders relaxed. Deep breaths. Well done. Really squeeze that glute. You can open up the chest as well if you want again. Love this stretch, so lacing my fingertips behind my head, opening up the chest. And then hands in front as we shift the hips back. Oh, I can feel that. I can feel that. Pointing the toes towards the ceiling, straightening that left leg, feeling the stretch to the calf and the hamstring. Keeping the hips facing forward, we're not turning out to the side like this, no. Want the hips aligned, chest presses towards that calf. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, press that chest a little bit closer towards that left leg. Oh, excellent job. We'll reverse again into the lunge position, reaching a little bit further this time so that left knee goes further out, the core stays engaged, right knee goes further back, and that right hip is pushing straight down towards the mat with the help of the right glute. If you want to practice your balance, you can lift the hands up. 
length so nice and tall in the body deep breaths throughout placing the hands on either side of the leg we're going to shift back so the hips go back left leg straight it. So left toes toe, toys <laughs> left toes point towards the ceiling pressing that chest towards the mat as you exhale press deeper Well done, we're going to come back into that lunge position, so bending that left knee, hands on the outside of it, I'm going to lift that back, right knee up off the mat, get rid of the cushion, and I'm just going to let those feet slide further apart. Now as I said, <laughs> this side is a bit stiff for me, but that's okay, again, I meet myself where I am, I'm not going to chicken out and say, oh I'm not good at doing a left lead leg split, no, I work on it and I'll get better at it. So the left leg is out in front, the right leg is behind, trying to keep those hips facing forward. It's really tempting to open out like this, and you can probably go a bit deeper if you do. If you turn that right leg out to the side, you can go deeper, but we're really focusing on the split stretch here. That is focusing on the calves and the quads, sorry, the hamstrings and the quads. I want you to lean over that front leg. Feeling that stretch. Just gonna hold this position. Finding your balance. I know it's not easy, I'm trembling, I'm sweating even. Really struggling as well to like keep that hip facing forward. But that's okay, because we're gonna come up. Oh, into the center of the mat. And we're done. We're done for today. And finish off just sat in a nice cross-legged position. And feel free to sit here. Take some more deep breaths and relax. Um, thank you so much for joining me for another day of the Glow Up Plan. I'm really enjoying working out with you. I love reading the comments and seeing your progress. And I'm really grateful that you've chosen to let me be even the tiniest part of your fitness journey. Um, yeah, I'll end the video here. I love you so much and I will see you very soon. Bye. <laughs>